And what we're doing with this number is we're multiplying it by these factors right here, starting with 2 and then ascending all the way to 8. And I think we'll find some surprising results. First of all, uh, I'm just going to do the math quick here, right? If we double this number, what we get is 285,000, excuse me, 714. And what we start to realize is that, okay, looking for patterns, look at the number itself, but also look at the digits, right? The individual numbers. And what I notice right away is that 285714 matches the original digits, but puts them in a different order. 241857. Here they are repeated. So we, we don't lose those digits. Let's see what happens in the next one. When we multiply it by 3, we get 428571. So now, same digits, but the order is different somehow. And I think what I might be noticing is that the 4, right, was back here in the first one. Now it's in the front. Hmm. So after the 4, we have 28571, which is exactly what we have here, 28571. So I'm reminded that, that the, these digits are in the same order, right? 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4. Not, I meant to draw a circle there, but the idea is that this is the first one. We're writing the digits in a circle, and we're following this order each time. So in the first product, we had 285714. 285714. Now, in the next product, we move here and we go 428571. So, same order but different starting point. And this, this pattern is going to hold almost throughout this entire thing, but it'll change later on and we'll look at that. So, now we have 571428. Now we start here 571428. And the next one, 714285. So 714285. Isn't this great? Uh, and then 857, right? We multiply the number by 6, 142,857 times 6. We get 857142. So 857142. And then we feel great, we feel confident. So what could happen next? Maybe we start at 1, 142. But, but really, what happens now is that we multiply this by 7, we get. 999,999. Whoa! Is the pattern over? Is, has everything stopped? Doesn't it, Sometimes when you're creating a pattern like this, you feel confident and all of a sudden everything shifts. Well, let's keep going. Let's not give up. Let's see what happens when we multiply by 8. When we multiply this number by 8, we get 1,142,856. Well, here, right, we don't have the same digits because now we have a 6. But a new pattern starts to emerge. If I took this number and add it to this number right here, what would I get? Just in terms of the digits, I would get 142857, which is exactly what we started with. And there it is in the circle, 142857. That was the one arrangement that we were missing, and we found it here. So I encourage you to keep going. Try 9, try 10. See how that connects to this pattern, if at all. But I like that, that there's a little shocker in this pattern, this number right here, uh, because you can think of it almost as a resetting of the pattern. So here's the original pattern. And then this does fit the pattern. It's a little bit tougher to play around with. But here's like a reset point. Oh, so after this, the numbers are going to reset maybe into a new pattern. And that happens a lot when you're playing around and tinkering with numbers. All right, hope you enjoyed that.